what's up guys uh, welcome to today's video uh, whereby we look at uh, how to deploy GeoServer in uh, Ubuntu uh, inside Tomcat in a recent video we had uh, uh, deployed GeoServer in uh, Windows um, operating system so uh, likewise we can also deploy GeoServer in uh, Ubuntu or in any other Linux uh, our operating system so first of all we are just going to open our terminal and uh, let's just check we can use this command to check our Ubuntu uh, version so as you can see from this it's showing that I'm running on Ubuntu 20.04.1 long-term release it's also known as focal force so uh, the other thing we need to do is that we need to, as usual, or as a standard practice, ensure that uh, we have uh, items that are up to date by using this following command, sudo apt update and sudo apt uh, upgrade. And then we are just going to put our password. Yeah, so we'll clear that and... Uh, the other thing we need to also ensure, just like we did in Windows, we need to ensure that we have Java. And how do we do that? So we uh, just going to try and uh, check this out by using Java uh, version. Yeah, it shows uh, us that it's uh, running on uh, JDK, Open JDK, and uh, on 64-bit, and also we can check the installation path uh, by doing sudo update java alternatives so we have these as well that shows us uh, even including the path for the installation so having confirmed that uh, let's say that we do not have that uh, java so you, what you need to do you need to just run sudo apt install uh, sudo apt install default jdk yeah so this is a command that you'd uh, need to run so mine it's already installed so and it might also take some time depending on the speed and the uh, size of the installation so we now we are going to add a user that will be responsible for running Tomcat and uh, why we are doing that it's because we it is not uh, recommended to run uh, it's not recommended to run uh, Tomcat by just a standard user for security reasons so you might be required to create a user who will a dedicated user who will be able to run uh, Tomcat so we have created uh, group called tomcat and you can also do that by checking the groups okay so let's just clear that and uh, then what we are going to do we are going to add uh, a user so we have just created groups a uh, group called tomcat so we are going to add a user by using sudo user add user add and this would be the reference directory so we don't want this user to be a login user so that's why we are doing uh, we are doing that and uh, this g stands for the group tomcat and then the d is for the directory so we would want to install our just like how most of our packages or software that we install in opt slash opta slash tomcat and then we are going to add the user who is tomcat so we have done that uh, then the other thing we are going to use do is that we are going to create the directory to that path using mkdir in this case we need to add sudo to run as a super user so we'll add it in opt tomcat we'll create a folder called tomcat inside opt 
so we have that and I think we can confirm that we have installed it uh, it's actually yeah so we have that and then the next thing we're going to do is that we need to download Tomcat so you can download Tomcat by um, save bookmark that link uh, this link I'm still going to share the link in our description that uh, you can navigate to apache.org Tomcat and also the other item we are going to download as well is uh, GeoServer and in this case just like we did it in the previous video for Windows we are going to download the web archive uh, from this link but I already have already downloaded those I'm going to share the links in the description below so we have I have mine installed in desktop yeah these are the files uh, and you can you notice that we have the tomcat uh, a gzip and also the geoserver or file uh, zip geoserver or file so we are going to extract the tomcat Well, we need to add xvzf components for extract uh, things for extracting and then we are going to add our output folder which will be that and then we need to add some command at the end for just extracting the components all strip components equals to one so it will strip the components on the first level uh, deep in the folder so we have extracted our components we can confirm this by just doing ls said opt tomcat and there we are so we have all these items so these are the standard folders that are usually inside tomcat the other thing we are going to you to do is that we can unzip our geo server then can check out the folder let me clear the screen and check the component so we have this this uh, web archive file so this web archive file we are going to copy it or move it um, we'll just copy it to the tomcat folder opt tomcat web apps oh, i forgot to put the geo server we have the geo server .war file so now we have our geo server and we can confirm this we got geo web apps and web apps also we have permission denied so <coughs> anyway we can just try and check it out just to be sure yeah, as you can see these are all this is because of the sudo so we uh, might not have permissions to enter the folder so i'll just close this but at least uh, i know that i'm sure that i've copied it so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to give tomcat the read and write access and also execute permissions to that folder uh, if you are not familiar with the permissions and groups all these you, you might need to consult the uh, linux documentation so we are first going to add the group uh, give the uh, group tomcat rights and we'll do it recursively because it has a number of folders inside it so pt and tomcat so this for the group ownership and uh, next we are going to add the uh, group read permissions and also the group execute permissions uh, g plus r for the read and in this case we need to do this for the opt tomcat the configuration folder 
and uh, we can also do the same for the execution the next then we are going to change the ownership to tomcat for the web apps and uh, so this double and is for joining can run multiple commands online can just do that for now then we also do the same for other folders is one folder called work and the temporary <coughs> folder and also the logs folder so having done that we can now create our tomcat service because we need to you know we need to execute it as a service you can start and stop it as you wish so by doing that we what we will do is that we will first of all check remember we had checked the path uh, for getting something the shell so we need to be keen on this and uh, what you're going to do is that I already have a file that I had created I'm going to share the link to the file as well so we can just look at the components of that file where you have tomcat txt so we need to ensure that this path is corresponding to this the path that is on the java home reference remember we had created a java home reference in the in the tutorial for windows and also this is a process ID file that is going to be created and we also have the Catalina home and the Catalina base normally this is usually reference refers to the Tomcat folder and then we have this Catalina ops at in some cases you yeah we whereby we set the RAM and also the server and uh, the uh, parallel garbage collection so these are also another other things that you might consult in the Tomcat uh, documentation so this is uh, we are going to set this to about something like 2 GB or even 4 GB so let's uh, edit this file or let's just uh, copy this file so we are going to copy it to etc system md so the system we are going to call it tomcat dot service so that it recognizes it as a service file and uh, we are also going to edit it I'm going to edit the newly copied file and uh, we are going to increase this so it is recommended that you set the is like the maximum and the minimum uh, memory to be the same so that it uh, it uh, for optimization purposes so i'll just set both of them to be that and then i'm going to click enter now the other thing that I'm going to do, I need to reload my the service daemon so that it gets to recognize Tomcat because you have just created it. So you need to know that there is a Tomcat service and we are going to reload the daemon file. So I'm going to clear the screen. So we are going to reload our daemon system ctl diamond reload 
Okay, so we can start our Stormcat service. System CTL or Tomcat sudo service. Tomcat start. You can also check the status. So there seems to be a problem. Oh no, oh, it's running. I think it was uh, taking some time to run. So how do I know it's running? Because I can see the this green text telling me that it's actively running. Okay. So while doing that, we can also add a Tomcat port. Which it, it by default it runs on, on port 8080. So UFW is a Ubuntu firewall. So for it to be uh, allowed to be connected, and also if you want the service to enable to be enabled, just like any other service to start enable itself when you start Ubuntu, you can just add sudo enable tomcat. Yeah, so this is a command for, so when you reboot your Ubuntu, Tomcat will always uh, start as well. So let's go to the link. So we can check our, how actually it's running. Then we can put a slash geo server. Sorry. Can add a slash geo server. And there we are, we can try logging in, in and geo server. Yeah, so this is our geo server. We have uh, just deployed geo server in uh, Ubuntu. And uh, we'll, uh, the next uh, time we'll also look at another alternative method of deploying geo server in, uh, still in Ubuntu, but using the binary files for geo server. So, uh, this uh, uh, brings us to the end of this uh, tutorial and uh, we uh, feel free to comment and uh, subscribe also uh, for more content uh, that we are going to do on uh, uh, working with GeoServer.